I think, generally speaking, the standard of athlete is much higher. I think now you're looking at, across the board, a far more athletic specimen. I think the numbers guys are lifting, they're definitely bigger. You look back at the pictures of 20 years ago, and there was some great rugby being played, because defences weren't pressuring as much. But you look at the physicality now of the game, there's one aspect of it, and compare and contrast, it's just, you know, a totally different world. What we've got now are players of Bill Bormont's size and power and Rory Underwood's speed combined. That is probably the biggest change that professional sport has, has, has changed rugby. You're not necessarily building robots. I think people are starting to understand that it isn't just about the dimensions, it's actually about skill development and what you can bring to the game. And the arms race to get as big as you can, as powerful as you can, doesn't necessarily make for great rugby players, I don't think. I don't think we are at a point where rugby has reached a ceiling physiologically yet, but what you'll get is a lot more players having a lot less weaknesses. If you went into a change room when I first started, probably half the guys would have zipper scars down their shoulders because you know, they'd, they'd dislocated their shoulder at some point. You see less and less players. I can't remember the last time I saw a dislocated shoulder on a rugby field, but I, you do see a torn pectoral muscle or a torn bicep tendon all the time and I just think the players have got so strong now, the joints are so well held together, but where's the next weakest part that's going to go and it tends to be the, the, the tendons around the muscle. So we're even seeing a, a big change in, in the style of injury um, because of the training of the players. With the Alter G, we, you know, we've had one for the last two seasons now, um, quite a simple idea in terms of reducing the body weight of a player when they're returning from injury um, so that you can keep their running stance, their gait stance while they, uh, while they rehab from an injury. Um, so a very, very simple idea but very, very effective piece of kit uh, as it's been a very successful for us in the last two seasons, any guys that you want to um, keep their mechanics and their muscles activated and running patterns, uh, it allows us and gives us the ability to do that. Science plays a pretty much a multifactorial role in injury prevention. So, as much as they're an injured athlete, they're they're a person before they're an injury, and it's important for us to treat the athlete and then treat the injury, and that's usually where we find we get the best results. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's getting the players fit enough, strong enough uh, to be able to compete in a Premiership environment. You know, making sure they're recovered enough to go from week to week. It's a long season, so it's our job to make sure that they're getting out on the pitch at the weekend uh, in the best physical shape that they can be. You know, rehydration for us was probably six before six in the bar, and um, and these days, you know, you come up the field and the boys will have the protein shakes and they're all the fluids and. You know, they, they manage their bodies far, far more differently than, than, than ever before. And then if you take into account the, the other side of it, the analysts and uh, uh, the sports science side, uh, it's just totally, totally different. And, uh, you know, I, we would never have survived in today's game. At the start of pre-season, we take baseline measures on players on all aspects, so fitness, strength, scores. And that allows us to, when players do get injured, you know, it's contact sport, it will happen. It gives us markers to get back to, so we know that as a team, as a conditioning, as a physio team, uh, we're confident with our decision that these players are able to go back into training and, and be able to compete at that level. You're talking about cryotherapy now, uh, new physiotherapy techniques, new medical techniques, uh, new types of food products to help people recover, you know, how you can promote really good sleep. Really what you're trying to develop is a pretty happy, healthy individual who, by the time he hits a pitch on a, on a Saturday afternoon, is, is at his peak.